Hey y'all, let's check out Akato. Hey y'all, so today we're gonna be checking out a Japanese themed land. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. I'm Shy in Second Life and on this channel we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So per my last video, um, after I was done, I did go and check out some of the other places that they had in their teleport system. And this was one of the places I actually am in the shared environment. Let me see if I could pan around so we can get a better view of this. This is super cute. So this land, you know, when I checked out, um, let me see if we can see the front of it. When I checked out the other shared environments because I was trying to find something that was going to be a little bit lighter, I really just couldn't find anything that looked as nice as this one. Um, their shared environment really is very specific to this space, so I really am happy that I am able to view um, the shared environment with you guys. I love this house. So y'all, um, on you know, I, I stays in the know with the Second Life. Um, stuff that be going on through facebook y'all so everybody is talking about this they're calling it like a do not touch list or something like that where people are letting people know um, about like people that they've dealt with and like don't talk to them or i guess so like if people who are related they don't accidentally talk to somebody that somebody else that their friends with or relatives with have um have talked to um this is super cute all of these little sleeping cats so i wonder if this cat theme is going to carry over from the last video so a lot of people have been up in arms about it and the um, sororities and fraternities were just they were coming from a different type of perspective they're like you know it's going to be real awkward i love that artwork they're like it's going to be very awkward if um we're sitting up here um, in a, fr a fraternity or a sorority and we find out that one of our brothers or, you know, one of our sisters or something is talking to somebody that we used to date. Like, you know, that could just be awkward. So a lot of people are who are not in, well, I don't know if they're all not in sororities and fraternities, but I guess the people who are disagreeing with it, their um, main thing is... You guys see how nice this shared environment is yeah it's dark but you can still see their main thing is like they're like you know it's coming off like hater that's what they're saying they're like it's coming off like a hater like if i'm not dating that person anymore then you shouldn't care about who um that person talks to and stuff like that but i think um because second life a lot of people i'm trying to look at these things because in second life a lot of people um they forge like really close-knit bonds with people very much so like real life this is another umbrella stand like from um the last place that we visited super cute so i i feel like to them it would kind of be like the equivalent of like your sister like a, bi a biological like relative or something like that popping up with somebody that you dated before but they didn't know that it was somebody that you dated before because it's like y'all never would you, they you never brought them around or whatever but i guess it was just coming from like that type of perspective a lot of people were like it's giving hater you know it's coming off as you being like a hater she is so cute i love her whole outfit and so other people were like you know it's not being a hater it's just kind of giving people a heads up on what's going on look at her is this a kimono i don't want to say the wrong thing but this is super cute oh and then you could get a free one how pretty oh i love that i'm gonna have to grab that i'm gonna have to grab it and so People are like, you know, so what? But I feel like I, I can understand both perspectives. I really can. I can understand it from the perspective of like, okay, what well, is giving hater? And I also can understand the perspective from um, like, you know, I don't want to be in no sorority um, and somebody is talking to somebody that I used to talk to. I personally wouldn't care, but you know, everybody doesn't feel the same way about Second Life. There are a lot of people that really, they forge some lifelong bonds with the people in Second Life. So I, I feel like 
the way that you would feel about it will be based upon how you view second life and how you interact with second life and how you view relationships in second life and things like that as, as far as like family and all of the above. So I really think that it's a very specific type thing. I'm gonna look at this plan. I think it's a very specific type thing, but I think it's as usual. No, people, people cannot agree to disagree. I want to look over here, then we can go back over there. People cannot agree to disagree. Instead of just saying like, okay, I understand it from the perspective of, um, well, you know, it's giving hater. And then it's like, okay, I also can't understand it from the perspective of, we don't want to be in the same sorority or fraternity and kind of like intermingle with people that we didn't really mean to intermingle with because it's like if you get to talking to somebody and you really liking that person and that person is really feeling you and then you found out that they was dating like your sorority sister or your fraternity brother or something like that it could you know it could leave like a bad taste in your mouth and then it kind of will ruin the whole relationship and then now you be like okay well I don't want to bring you around them so now it's like you sneaking and it's like I shouldn't have to sneak because they're not dating anymore but it's just like that unspoken um respect i feel like and so i feel like instead of people like agreeing to disagree they're just like no you sound dumb and i just feel like i be i get so tired of that um they really just be it, it be rubbing me the wrong way because i'm like why can't you just agree to disagree like why does the other person have to be stupid or why do they have to be a hater or why do they have to be like it's dumb to put this list out and if i'm on this list you know i, I i'm not a bad and bad list and stuff it's like okay everybody can do their own thing everybody is you know they all can have their own opinions of course i really love this land it's so pretty but i feel like just kind of oh Let's look at this over here, okay? This gets like a whole different vibe. It's, it's giving, it's giving goth. Like a little Dracula type vibe. Because what the hell is this? Like an octopus bat? I don't know. But I mind my business. So I kind of feel like um, it's okay to not agree. But when you get to name calling and try to make it seem like people are being petty and things like that, instead of just being like, I'm not gonna abide by that or I don't really agree with that or that's not really how I feel about that. It's like, they don't wanna do that. Y'all, my Alexa trying to tell me it's, it's time for bed at nine o'clock and I never listen to it. I don't even know how that timer got on here. I wanna look at her, but I know I'm gonna have to blur something out. Let's see. Oh wait, let's look at this. So I just, that name calling stuff, it really be, it, it rubs me the wrong way every single time. Oh, she's beautiful. A little geisha girl. How nice. And she tat, tat, tat it up. I know that's right. Oh, look at them. They say like a kiss under the moon. I love, 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 love how they decorated this space. So yeah, it's been a whole lot of that on um, Second Life Facebook and it's so funny because I don't know if it just is not enough beef in Second Life, but anytime there's any type of disagreement with something, they're going to talk about that shit for weeks and th it's going to be something that's going to go on and on and on and on and on. And I think it's funny personally because it's like everybody will have their own perspective on things and everybody want to put their two cents in or try to say something about stuff and in essence i'm doing the same thing except i understand both sides i i can feel i can i can understand where both sides are coming from it's a preference like many things in life and it's like you don't have to be dumb because you don't agree with my preference you don't have to be wrong because you don't agree with the preference like you it just don't have to be like that look at these little seats i love the details the pretty pretty colors i love the ground look how shiny the rocks are i, mean, I love a good shine i love a good shine so yeah that's been like the latest thing on um the second life of uh, facebook the latest like gossip and stuff like that and i'm just like or the latest like debate rather it's not really gossip because everybody knows about it but i and what's crazy is i haven't seen the list i haven't seen the list you know it maybe it'll cross my timeline uh, maybe it won't i don't know i don't know if i run in 
circles enough to or large enough circles for it to even come by me but I think I just want to see how it's formatted I just want to see how it's formatted but I thought it was funny people were in an uproar immediately are these peppers they look like peppers I thought they were strawberries from afar but they're not yeah they definitely look like peppers or tomatoes I saw the green one I don't know look at this artwork but yeah, I was sitting reading it and just laughing because I'm like, you're never upset about this, right? Y'all are never upset about this and it, like never. It's the people in the comments that try to like explain why they feel the way they feel. And then another person will be like, nah, you watch your damn man. And it's like, why they gotta be, why I gotta be all that? Just be like, okay, I don't agree with that and keep it pushing. That's so much easier than having an attitude because somebody don't agree with what you have going on i think more than anything it's that people don't really want their name on that list they're like let me be the one to say i don't want to talk to you because you know i found out that you wanted you used to talk to my sister something like that i also feel like it just lets you know how much of a small world second life is that there even needs to be a list like that second life is so vast in my opinion it's so big in my opinion that i'm like there's no way that people would even run in the same circles like that but i kind of believe that when you are related and when you are like in a sorority and fraternity you kind of do run in some of the same spaces is this like a samurai look at that artwork it's nice oh i love how like you come around the corner and this section is giving off like that nice red vibe i like it i like it it's it's giving scary sexy you know it, it, that's what it's giving and I, I liked it i don't know what this is but this is very pretty with the little beads oh oh okay i i know what that is so yeah um that was what i have been saying on um second life facebook as of lately i guess it'll it'll die down when another like filter comes out first everybody were talking was talking about enzo and i was like oh okay something positive i really really like that something positive but then they like mm -mm. we love the mess and they went straight to it they went straight to it yeah got very very messy with it immediately I personally think people just be doing stuff to piss other people off in Second Life because why would you even think to come up with something like that? As long as this has been something that people had to deal with in Second Life, um, like dealing with other people that other people have dealt with, it's like this is not, what is this? Is this mail or like packaged goods? This is not something new. This is not like a, we didn't know that this was an issue before. Like, yeah, this has always been something that people have had to deal with in Second Life. It's That's just what it is. People in Second Life are rather messy. But I always say, people are not super far. I don't know who. This, it, are those worms? What is that? What is this? He looked like a Pokemon ball. What's happening right now? Oh, I don't like that. Anywho, people are not very far removed in Second Life from who they are in real life. So I have, I have heard of some of the most ratchet interactions that people have had, like legit mothers with daughters in second life and they'll be trying to talk to the daughter's boyfriend on the low like inviting him to the land and stuff like that to have conversations with him and then be banging him on the side i'm like y'all get down like that in real life y'all get down like that in real life because why would you be that way in second life i feel like i understand that second life is a place where you can do what you want to do that fat cat is adorable i understand in second life you can do what you want to do you can hang where you want to hang and all of that i get it i do get it but i feel like if you are not the type of person that would behave like that in real life for you to behave like that in second life is like is this something that you've always been wanting to do or is this something that you do in real life and so it's easier for you to do it in second life i don't know 
I don't know, you know, I, I know how I am in real life. And I think that's, I know that that's a big part of why I am the way I am in second life. I love being by myself in real life. I don't mind a little bit of company, but I prefer a lot of me time. And I'm definitely that way in second life not closed off to people but also not one to be like i want a whole bunch of friends like no i'm not i'm not that type of woman and it's nothing against the women who are that type of women or are that type of woman or women who are like that um but that's just not how that's not that's not how i want my second life to be and your second life doesn't have to mimic your real life but i think a lot of the characteristics that you have in real life will come through in second life especially when you're in a world that's so uninhibited as second life it's like yeah you can do whatever you want to do but for you to do something like sleeping with somebody else man in second life be like oh you know it's just second life it's like yeah I feel like you get down like that in real life and I don't like that I don't like that at all I really don't I just I really really don't and so I feel like people show how they are and who they are in real life a lot of times with their behaviors in second life that could be good or bad it's nothing wrong with I think this is the thing that we saw this the um, little house is what we saw at the beginning yeah I don't think there's anything wrong with exploring different things and different avenues in second life i don't know what's going on with that. i feel like i might have to blur this out um let me see oh no it's not too bad um it's nothing wrong with you know exploring a lot of different things in second life but when you start to get like messy and you hurting people's feelings and stuff like that because people can say whatever they want to say they it's everybody with one big ass eye and they all have sunglasses on for me but people can say whatever they want to say. You you get your feelings hurt in second life. You can get your feelings hurt here. You definitely can. And so people try to make it seem like that's not something that can happen. And it definitely can. And so for people to come in and like purposely do stuff like that. It's just like, oh, no, you, you kind of wicked. You really kind of wicked. And I just be feeling like you you got some of that in real life. You do some of that stuff in real life. You ratchet like that in real life. You're just mean like that in real life. You This is the type of stuff that you do in real life. People calling people their sisters and then they talk behind their back and stuff like this. Like, now you, you do that in real life. You do that in real life. No, you don't owe anybody in Second Life any type of loyalty. However being a good person shouldn't be something that you have to practice to be it shouldn't be something somebody that you have to fake to be so it's like if you're an asshole in second life then that's how you are in real life and if you do stuff not caring about how it's going to affect other people then that you work you're purposely trying to be a not a good person like i don't call you a bad person but like not a good person and that's messed up it's not i don't feel like it's difficult to be a good person i feel like it's more difficult to not be a good person but there are so many people that are just horrible like horrible i've heard some like horrible horrible stories that i feel like would turn a lot of people off to even making friends in second life just like not even wanting to put themselves in a position oh this is cute it's given haunted not even to put themselves, they not even wanting to put themselves in a position to even befriend anybody in Second Life because you'll hear horror stories and it's like, they did what? Well, why would they do that? And they're like, I don't know. And they said this and they said that. It, it'll be, and it never takes much to set some people off. They'll be like, oh, I went to a party and more people was talking to this person at the party than me and so i'm gonna start a rumor or i'm gonna say this about them or i'm gonna say that about them that's why that's why i feel like these little chickens are so they like rubber duckies how adorable are they that's why i'm like stop telling people your real life business and say like that's crazy to me that's crazy to me because these people will turn on you in a heartbeat and tell all your business 
and how everybody know about your mama and everybody know about your relationship with your families and all of the stuff and the hardships that you done went through and all of this extra stuff when none of them should have ever known this because it was never nobody's business but you got comfortable talking to somebody who you shouldn't have got comfortable talking to but people put on those facades to make you feel comfortable and a lot of times people oh this is spooky a lot of times people will befriend people in second life because it's more difficult for them to have friendships in um real life or outside of second life and so they confide in these people with all kind of things and then these people have your information and then once you piss them off they tell everything there's no loyalty um like in real life or like you would expect in real life in second life there are some gems that are loyal to you um i'm one of them i'm not a throw it in your face type of girl you know once upon a time i was a type of girl but as you mature that should go ahead and phase on up out of you because that's ridiculous that's absolutely ridiculous that's a horrible trait to have but i'm not a I've never been a, well, I did this for you and you didn't want to do it. I've, I've never been that type of girl, like never been that type of girl. But it's a lot of people in Second Life that are very much so like that. Oh, look at all of these paper lanterns. Look how pretty this is. And so I'll be feeling sorry, or not sorry, but I'll be feeling bad for people who um, tell all their business to people in Second Life and then the people go on Facebook and just be telling all their business and it be so embarrassing secondhand embarrassment is the worst oh look at this water that little creepy thing over here again oh i don't like that they all right here i was just standing up there i didn't even know and so i just be sad i'm like dang i know you mad i know you mad they just told everybody, you got 19 baby daddies in real life. That's crazy. That's real crazy. Why would you tell them that about yourself? But they do it all the time. They do it all the time. But I do love them as y'all excuse this. OMG, I need to call him. They just got these little peepees everywhere. That's crazy. You know, one thing about Second Life, they are not going to keep it PG. They are, oh Lord. They're gonna make me blow this out. They are not gonna keep it PG. I, I don't know. It's one of them things where it's like everybody's like sex crazed in Second Life, it seems, because you can't go anywhere without saying something that has some type of sexual connotation to it. It's like, okay, I guess, I guess this is what we're doing now. I don't know what this is, but he's adorable. And they got him. He's like, I'm renting rooms don't piss me off just tell me what you want don't worry about what i look like stay focused but i really like that mask what are these i don't know what they look like rice cookers but i don't think that's what what it is but they're very pretty i love these colors so yeah that's what's been going on on um second life facebook if y'all not on second life facebook what is you doing because it's messy and you know i'm not a messy type person but if it comes across my feed you know i can't help that and so this was something that came across my feed so that lets me know that is a bunch more people talking about it if it came if it comes across my feed my feed is small i don't have a bunch of friends um on um facebook and so i'm like if it if it's coming across my feed then this is really something that is is this something that you can look in I don't know. Oh no, but I see where they're going. It's like a little miniature house. If it's coming across my feed, then it's a big thing. This is something that a lot of people are talking about. So I'm like, dang, this was this was popping right now. It's second like everybody mad because they on a list. That's crazy. I remember they had a um, they had a whole list. Oh man, that was a while ago. These are so pretty. Are these like little love letters in a tree? so pretty oh they're like little letters they're little tags oh the, the whole list the little thought list in second life oh it was crazy i remember they used to have a website that was like a 
it was like a like a shade room for second life and people will just like post anonymous stuff and be talking about other people in second life i'm like oh y'all so messy they be so messy in um on facebook sometimes i just be looking at it like that's crazy should nobody even know that much about you but they be telling all their business to these people in second life i don't care how long i know somebody i'm not telling you all my business in no second life i ain't doing it i'm just not doing it I don't trust nobody in Second Life that much. Look at this tree. Look at all the paper lanterns. That's so pretty. Oh, now see, this is another smaller land, but they have so much going on. So, so much going on over here. I don't know what this is, but they look like little paper cranes or something like that. I don't know, what's this? Yeah, so this shared environment was not that bad. It wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad at all. When I tell you, I cycled through a lot of shared environments and I simply could not find one as nice as um, the the shared environment that they have was. So I was like, well, I hope it's not too dark because we don't really do dark videos because I didn't want y'all to see everything, but we've really been able to see everything for this video and I really love it. I really really love that what's up here I love this blue I love this blue with this red how pretty is this? it's kind of like a bluish purple though I love this with the little bells this looks very um, spiritual like I don't even want to walk all the, I'm not gonna walk up the other stairs I don't know I feel like that would be disrespectful I don't know what this is like a wolf or a coyote or something is this the same thing yeah but he got something else yeah like a ball in his mouth and then he has a what is that like a little I don't know what that is it's like a cigar and so then you can touch this for like messages and things like that like little um special spiritual messages I think that's super nice and then what does this say okay all right now this is so pretty look at this let's look at these oranges i love a i love a good fruit look at the detail on this oh look at that shine when i tell you they did a big one with this update they're still working on it um working out some tweaks some people have been saying that they've been having a better experience um on the with the in the firestorm viewer but i know that firestorm is doing like some little tweaks behind the scenes and i'm really appreciative of that hopefully it makes it a little bit more easier for people who have been having difficulty logging in to the firestorm viewer and they'll be able to log in a little bit better because i'm still very much so pissed about how they are trying to do people because that's not cool so what is this this is a very beautiful portrait look how pretty this is so we've seen the cats kind of did the thing where the cats did kind of follow um through this land as well and i think it is adorable and then they do have like a lot of little rabbits and things like that super duper cute you guys so you guys this is a kato the landmark for this place will be in the description box below make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time